thank you for staying tuned to STL TV and for joining me and my friends on After the Mix, where we get up close and personal and geeky and, and hear all about the things you really want to see and hear. So, without any further ado, joining me tonight is my good friend Tendai Morris, also known as the Hair Whisperer, and she's an expert natural hairstylist, colorist, and educator who's been in the business for over 20 years and believes that beautiful hair is healthy hair. And earlier this month, she hosted an event called Texture Talk, focused on natural hair care, including how to grow your hair to waist length. And she even has her own hydrating co-wash called Whisper Whip, which we'll talk about later on. Well, natural ladies are natural ladies wannabes. It's time to get this party started tonight. It's all about growing and maintaining gorgeous locks. So Tendai, without any further ado, tell us how you do what you do, girl. I whisper with these hands of mine. All right, <laughs> the whisper. Yeah, let me say for the record, I did not name myself that. Clients just sure. kind of, I didn't. Cl clients just started calling me the hair whisperer after services and things, because I use my hands a lot. So um, that's how I got the name for one of my clients. Shout out to LA, I won't say her name. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us all about the texture talk. Unfortunately, I missed it, and I'm sure some of you all did too, but I heard there was a lot of good stuff going on, and you were sharing with us all kinds of wonderful tips on how to keep this moisturized, because truly there is, um, people think it's really easy mm -hmm. to cut your hair off and go short and natural, but it does require a bit of maintenance and some work, and there's a right. trick to it. You know, the thing is, is I'm all about education. Um, it seems like, like you said, people cut their hair off and they think it's supposed to just magically appear as beautifully as yours. But the thing is, is that you have to retrain your thought process. Everything that you did when your hair was straightened or chemically treated, those things pretty much go out of the window and you start to relearn how to work with what's growing out of your body. So my job is to, first of all, identify their curl pattern. So I help them with that. And then, Okay, stop there. Uh huh. Curl patterns, aren't there four different types? You got it, there's four different texture categories with subcategories of A, B, and C. Okay. So we talk about that. Uh, one being straight, two being slightly wavy, three having a curl pattern, and four having a curl pattern, but the difference being the type of curl pattern. Okay, what kind do I have, girl? Yours looks Oh, well first of all, hold on, let me wait, see. Wait, 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 I, 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 I got, got two different types, I got two. In the top and back. <laughs> one in the front, one in the back. Wait, let this me, is let me my mama and this is my daddy. Right. That is cute. You know what, I'm gonna say that you're in a three category. Are you serious? Yes, uh, only because the way your hair is standing up right now, I can see, even though it's uh, drier and, and coiled right now, um, if I was to wet your hair and actually put product in it, I would see a looser, like a S pattern going on when you oh. pull it together. Have you seen that? Yes, I have, but you so know, I just, because it's one. usually really tight. <laughs> it's tight. Right. But it's tricky. It's tricky. And that's the thing. So many women, oh, they, they see a tight curl and they say, oh, I'm in a full category. But that doesn't mean you are. You know, and the funny thing is that a lot of women, especially in the United States, just because of our DNA and the makeup and the mixtures and everything going on, we tend to be in a three category in some capacity. Three is the broadest category there is. So, um, but you move on to, over into four, that's the curl pattern that when you stretch it out and kind of pull it back together, it looks like little Z's. So that's the oh. difference. The threes are S's and the fours, fours are, are more Z's. like Z's. So. Okay, I got mm -hmm. you. Yeah. So, tell us, uh, tell us four of your top tips. Because there's, this can take a lot of time. Yeah. It can. How do we number get it together? One, number one. Um, after the big chop. After the big chop, what do you need to do? You first need to identify your curl pattern. That's the first thing. Once you do that, um, understanding that in certain categories and certain densities, because you're not only looking at the texture category, but also the thickness. Like you were saying, in the top, it's a little different from the front. Well, that a lot of times has to do with the amount of hair strands that are growing in one concentrated area, oh. which makes it appear like it's Two different lot. textures. Yeah, but it's really the same texture, but just less in one area. Usually in the crown, there's a lot more than there are on the edges. So once you identify that, then learning which moisturizing products are gonna be best for hydrating your hair. I recommend Whisper Whip, of course. So, I mean, it's, it's really good for it, for hydrating. But you know, you're absolutely right because I have several different products that I use in my hair, and I would really like to be able to use one product, so I'm really excited about seeing this Whisper Whip uh -huh. later on, but, right. um, Sometimes I don't know what to do, and that's why sometimes I wash it and I put a little 
conditioner in it, and mm -hmm. I heard that's not good, but whatever, it works. It keeps my curl pattern exactly. pulled, you know, pulled out a little bit mm -hmm. so you can see the curls. Then sometimes I put a little, um, a little spray, juices and berries, you know, right. all the, and then sometimes. You find what works for you. Is, is that okay? And, the, to and that's try, perfectly I mean, to fine. have several different products that you use in your hand? It is. The thing is, is that, the, and that leads me to the third point that I was going to make. Once you find your style, st no, it's fine. Once you find your style, understanding what products works for you. I always tell people, I, I, I do a saying that says, your natural is your natural. So don't look at, I can't look at you and just say, I'm gonna go for what she's got because I have not learned my own texture yet. So I have to figure out what works for me. And it may be a combination of this and that sometimes. Once your moisture is there and you see the curl pattern and your style, and identifying your style, that's gonna help you to be able to come up with a regimen. Last thing really quickly, make sure you trim those ends. That's that's so exactly. important. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing like you getting trim a your good hair. hair trim. Because you know, you want your hair to fall back in the style regardless. Right. So at any rate, let me take a quick break real quick. Stay tuned to learn how to get your sexy summer hair together. And um, yeah, we're gonna find out how she whispers our hair back into shape. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now it's time for This Week in Bad Stats. Bad stats? Horrible stats. Here goes. 132. That's how many batters struck out four times in one game last season. Wow, very good. Here's a tough one, though. Three and four. No idea. That's how many kids have witnessed bullying. Three out of four. That's not a good stat. No, it's not. But it can change. Kids want to help, but they don't know how. Visit StopBullying.gov and give them the tools they need to help prevent bullying. There are plenty of safe ways kids can help at StopBullying.gov. We're back. I'm Gina Cheatham, your host, here with natural hair care expert, master stylist, colorist, and educator, Tendai Morris, a.k.a. The Hair Whisperer. And also here is Daniil, her wonderful model. And it's time to see what Tendai's Whisper Whip can do. So let's get to it, because I need my hair whipped and together, honey, for the summer. <laughs> right, right. So Whisper Whip is a hydration product. So many people, well, first of all, it's a conditioner base, but it has essential oils infused in it. So that's what makes it so in demand, is that it makes the hair feel really, really soft. For all my girls out there, that's, that the struggle is real. <laughs> oh, oh yes. yes, especially with this color. Mm -hmm. Yes, and what this does is actually, um, not only softens your hair, but it helps you to define your curl pattern. Mm, but, exactly what I'm looking for. Right, the, oh, the thing with that though, is I tell people that your best tools are your hands. Your best tool are your hands. When you go on with a comb or anything like that and you start combing, you're looking at me like. <laughs> no, because you know, I believe with my, um, believe in my uh, pick, my mm -hmm. steel pick with the black power fist. Yes. You know what? Just raise it up a little bit in the top. Right. For certain styles, it's perfectly fine. But the issue comes in when people are trying to grow that hair out, okay? I deal with a lot of women who have had issues um, and from tension, uh, alopecia, um, chemical burns, and all kinds of things, and they're wanting to really retain the hair that they get on their head. Okay. So uh, between the whisker whip, which is really gentle for the hair, it helps them to soften it, as well as using their finger, fingers to actually detangle the hair and pull the product through, you'll see all those beautiful curls in oh. the hair. And then you actually let it, let it dry. And, uh, so are you saying that I need to start parting my hair and, and working actually it? Because I tend through. to just spray stuff on here, go like this, and that works. And then keep working. Yeah, that works for a certain look. But initially, when you're um, hydrating your hair or cleansing it, because this is a cleansing cream, once oh. you put it in your hair, you really work it through, and it helps to define your curl patterns. What you do from there is either going to help you keep your curls or to make them go away. For example, if you look at these as hairs, these individual hairs, and all of your, our hair is curly, right? So when you wet it, they all ball up, and they're like this against each other. And it makes it look like an afro. And that's perfectly fine if that's the style you're going for. But when you want definition, you have to pull those out, which is where you apply the whisper whip, smooth them out, straighten them out, and then let those curls fold in on each other. That's where your definition comes in. Oh. Makes sense? <laughs> okay, so that's part of the reason I'm having so much. I'll put it in here in the front and I'll pull through. Mm -hmm. But then the back doesn't look as... The same, as defined. 
Oh. That's because you're, you just whispered in the front, right there. I only whispered in the in front, the front, not in the back. Yeah, you yelled in the back. I yelled in the back. Okay, yeah. okay, <laughs> all right. That makes sense, because it, sometimes it looks like I was yelling at myself. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, tell me more about this product. Where can we get it? Yeah, the Whisper Whip, you can actually purchase it from me. Um, you can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook under the Hair Whisperer Tendai, okay. and you can order it from me directly. Or come to the salon, and I have them in the salon. You can purchase it from me. Where's your salon? I'm in St. Charles, right on 5th Street, in oh. Three Flags Business Center, 1360 South 5th Street. But I'm inside the building, Suite 310. Okie dokie. Um, I notice you don't have any, um, La uh, any ingredients labels, and ingredients. Yeah, this is on brand, brand new. Okay. Home girl, <laughs> brand brand new, but I will have all of that on there really soon. Okay, because I thought it was top secret. No, no, I mean, it, it's, it's, no, not really. I mean, okay. all right. Well, if you want to learn how to take care of your natural hair and you're ready to make the move and change, and now you know where to start or simply need a new stylist, make sure you contact Tendai Morris, the hair whisperer. You can make an appointment by email at the hair whisperer appointments at gmail.com or contact her via phone at 314-276-9727 or you can check her out on Facebook at The Hair Whisperer. Did you gift. hear me? I gotta give you a gift. Oh, I've got a gift. Yes. Oh my goodness, hold on, wait a minute. I like gifts. I had gifts. to make you a waistline curl. Oh, <laughs> texture talk, get with it. All righty <laughs> now. Well, thank you for coming You're and, so and telling us. I learned a lot today and um, I think everybody out there learned a lot as well, and we needed this in terms of preparing for the summer because the sun will be beating down on our hair, drying it out just like that. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Danielle. And thank you, everyone, for staying tuned and watching. And this is it for this edition of After the Mix. And make sure you tune in tomorrow night at 8 p.m. to watch The Daily Mix for more entertainment right here on STL TV. Until next time. Keep your coins in your purse and your hair hydrated. <laughs> so yeah. Thanks. My mother and I came up. She